guys, today I'm back with another What I Eat In A Day video and I've tried to film this intro so many times. I don't know why I struggle so much. With beauty videos, I'm like off to the races, it takes me no time. But with these, I just feel like I have so much to say and then I start like ranting and it just goes off the rails. So <laughs> basically what I'm trying to get at is I am working on losing some weight. I have no um, kind of goal of how many pounds in this much time because that for me is not gonna work. And I've tried it a million times and it doesn't. I'm not interested in intermittent fasting or keto or making everything from scratch and cutting a bunch of stuff out of my diet. I'm interested in consuming the proper amount of calories in a day sometimes at a deficit so that my body loses weight and also upping my nutrition. There's room for everybody on YouTube and I've said this before but I feel like there's kind of a, a lack of this style of what I eat in a day video because I watch all of them. I love food. I just like seeing what people eat. So I'm going to link to uh, Steph and Amy Macedo down below. I think they do great what I eat in a day if you're looking for more. They're also Canadian so their videos are not filled with Trader Joe's along with Whitney Simmons. She is like a fitness goddess and I avoided clicking on her videos just because like she was in such good shape that I was like that's not me but she actually does really really approachable things and has great information so I will also link to her down below if you're looking for more people and if you have recommendations for me please let me know because as much as I love to watch like a uh, you know intermittent fasting raw vegan what I eat in a day there's not as much that I can take from that as I can from somebody like the people that I mentioned uh, but let's go ahead and get started so I'm starting my day with some oats. I feel like all the healthy people that I watch on YouTube start their day with oats, so that's what I'm doing now. And I've actually been enjoying it, so I'm using Quick Cook Steel Cut Oats, and then you can of course put whatever you want in your oats. I like kind of like a chocolate banana type thing with some nuts on there. So I wanna do a quick little demonstration because I've talked a lot about why I love a food scale so much and why I think it's important and why I don't think it's like as obsessive and ridiculous as I once thought. So on the back of this package for oats, it says that a half a cup or 40 grams is 150 calories. So I have my half a cup measuring thing here. So when I put it in here, if you can see on the scale, it says 63 grams. So I'm actually getting um, about a serving and a half, which instead of 150 calories, it'd be like 250 calories, which that can make a big difference if you're trying to lose weight or if you're even making more of a heaping spoonful of this. So that's why I like a food scale because there's no question there about what I'm actually getting in my serving size for oats or something super fatty or dense. So this is what is left in my half a cup spoon if I have my actual serving, because you can see I've measured it out to 40 here. So that kind of thing just really convinces me that it's a good, it's a good investment. And you'll also get used to your serving size too. So you don't need to measure things obsessively, but you'll say, okay, I know about what 40 grams of oats looks like moving forward. So I have my 40 grams of oats here. I'm going to add some cocoa powder. I like to use this. It's the, um, Chris, Krizda monk fruit sweetener and I bought this at Whole Foods like a year ago but I think I've since bought this from Walmart. I can't totally remember but it's a zero calorie sweetener and it's made from monk fruit. I don't love like stevia or splenda but I do like this in smaller portions. I still don't like a lot so as you can see I have my half a pack that I used from yesterday so I'm going to add the rest of that packet in there. Then I'm going to add some of my cocoa powder and then I have chopped up bananas here that I froze individually. When you're freezing things like bananas, lay them out on like a sheet pan and freeze them individually because if you throw them all in a bag then they'll all get stuck together. So I'm just going to add everything into uh, my bowl here. So I have everything in my bowl here. I like to add a little bit more water than what they recommend because I find it gets bigger and that way it takes a little bit longer to eat and it just feels like more food. So so um, I have everything in here with the exception of the nuts. So I'm just going to pop this in the microwave. You can cook it on a pan too, but microwave is just much faster. So here are my finished oats. And you can see when you measure out 40 grams initially, which is 150 calories of oats, it looks like nothing. But then when you add the water and you microwave it, um, it really expands. So I'm putting in just a splash of almond milk. I kind of like that it cools it down and it makes it just a little creamier. I also had an espresso this morning about two hours ago and now I'm eating breakfast. And then I'm just putting some slivered almonds on the top. I like slivered because you get more coverage. If you were to put in whole almonds, you'd get to put in probably two, but slivered you're getting kind of more texture throughout so you can see that this little bit of almonds is 40 calories and then I've got some raw pumpkin seeds this is 20 calories so it's very easy to see how this can add up this is you know 60 calories of 
of nuts here when this is 150 calories of oats. So if you're trying to, to monitor, I definitely also recommend measuring your, your nuts and seeds because they're good and they're yummy and they add texture but they can also kind of ruin it as well. So that's my finished oats there. And like I said, you can basically add whatever you want, but this is what I've been liking at the moment. I'm feeling very, very snacky, but I'm gonna try and hold off on eating for just a little bit. So I'm gonna have some of this Lipton Summer Fruits Tea. And I like it because it has hibiscus in there. I really, really like hibiscus tea. Uh, I had bought this with the intention of making like an iced tea out of it and having it cool as it is the summertime and not the best time for tea, but I realized I don't own a jug and I don't really feel like waiting to make it, so uh, I'm just going to have the tea hot. Okay, so here is my lunch. It's kind of like a snack plate and this is one of my favorite ways to lunch or to snack because I like having multiple textures, flavors, things going on and kind of like activity so that it makes it feel a little bit more, I guess, hearty. So these crackers are amazing. I mentioned the rice cracker version before. This is basically the same as a snack that I showed in a previous What I Eat in a Day, but the portions are essentially doubled because I'm having it as my lunch. So these are the Good Thins Potato Dill and Onion flavor. And I have uh, 40 grams of crackers here, which is uh, 160 calories. And there's a ton of crackers here. These are the potato version, which I actually like better than the rice cracker. It feels more like a potato chip. And then I have salami here. This is the Philadelphia Intense cheddar and jalapeno cream cheese and this is my first time trying it but it's whipped so it's a little bit more airy and then I have just some watermelon and nectarine here and I've talked about it before but I like having like if I have a big fruit I always cut it up because otherwise I'm just gonna let it go bad so this is about I haven't calculated yet and we're just as I'm filming this it's the World Cup so it's kind of like a nice meal to have like it feels snacky and it feels good um, but it's also super satisfying and still quite light you could add vegetables here if you wanted to but I've already got kind of three salty elements and then I have my two sweeter elements as well. So um, this is my lunch. For a snack, I just cut up this orange. I got out of eating oranges for a little while there, but started buying them again. I just find sometimes they can be really dry and then other times they're super sweet and good. These ones are okay, so I'm just gonna uh, snack on this orange. Okay, it is time to eat once again and I'm gonna be having some salmon along with arugula, which is kind of like, it's just a green, it's a little bit peppery. You can obviously use whatever you want. And then a pasta salad. And initially when I was making this, I have about 50 grams of uncooked pasta. So pasta is one of those things like cereal, like rice that can just add up so quickly. So it looked so bare when I first put it in this container. But as always, I try to bulk with vegetables or fruits, whatever it may be. So I bulked it up with some cucumber and some cherry tomatoes. And I sprayed just um, a little spritz of olive oil on there so that it didn't get dry along with some oregano. And then I'm gonna add Parmesan and put it all on top of arugula so it feels a little bit more bulky. And then for my salmon, I've had a lot of questions about meal prepping seafood and my boyfriend will cook his ahead of time and take it to work or to he'll eat it at home. He doesn't really care, he's not particular. I, however, am more particular, but salmon doesn't last or fish doesn't last as well in the fridge. So what I'll do is I'll either keep it fresh in the fridge for like two days and cook it as I need it. Or what I did was I got a filet, a big filet, cut it into portions and then froze it. And then the morning when I wake up, I'll take it out and then I'll cook it for lunch or dinner. And then that way I'm getting fresh salmon, which I find is so enjoyable and delicious, but um, I'm not letting things go bad in the fridge, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna cook the salmon and then I'll show you when it's all together. I just fry it in a pan, nothing snazzy. So here is the finished product. It looks like a ton, but it's because I put it on top of the arugula. So I have about 200 calories of pasta. Then the arugula, cherries, and cucumber obviously are more or less no calories than some Parmesan and my salmon. So I can't remember exactly what this meal is, but I think it's about 450 calories and it's so good. You've got your carb, you've got your protein, you've got your greens and it's just so delightful. And I'm just having some water with it, lemon in there. And I recently got glass straws cause they're a little bit thicker, better for smoothies, but I've been enjoying them. I'll link them down below. I just got them on Amazon, but um, yeah, really, really been enjoying this meal. So I'm gonna go eat it. So I showed something similar to this in another What I Eat In A Day. It was kind of like a brownie Sunday, so it had the brownie, strawberries, and chocolate. So this is essentially the same thing. It has the fiber one brownie that I cut up and microwaved for like 15 seconds. The Cool Way ice cream, which is delightful. This is the chocolate chip, uh, chocolate chocolate chip. So it has it's chocolate ice cream with like kind of chocolate chips in there. And I've got about 50 calories of this. 
but the difference is no strawberries plus a low fat fat free whipped topping and something about this is just so incredibly indulgent even though it's only it's under 150 calories and like i'm not saying it's low sugar and healthy but it is such a good sweet little treat dessert thing and it like fills you up feels uh, like I said really really indulgent so that's what I'm gonna have so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I have linked to some previous what I eat in a days down below if you would like to uh, check out some more I know when I start watching what I eat in a days I basically watch every single one that they have uploaded so I'll link that down below and uh, there will be more to come if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye